Hey, what's going on? This is Ty. So, you know, we're going to do another review video. Our last review video, it was all about Gardein chicken tenders. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure hit the link in the description, watch that video and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Today is going to be all about the brand Impossible. Impossible chicken nuggets. Now, I know you've all heard of Impossible Burgers. I mean, that's really a product that I have almost every day. Um, all that and th there's another product which we'll talk about later. But listen, Impossible, the burgers, I think I think they taste great and you don't have to be vegan to eat them. I mean, I think probably the majority of their customers are non-vegan. But today it's all about the chicken nuggets. I've never had them, so why not give them a try? Made from plants, uh, sounds good to me, right? It's 100% uh, well, plant-based, so I'm all about it. Now check out the ingredients here because I know some of you really care about ingredients. What I'm surprised about here is it does have soy protein, just like the Impossible Burgers do, but it doesn't have potato protein. So I guess they figured, you know what, for chicken, for the texture, we just don't need uh, potato protein. And I, when I'm looking here at the, the amount of protein that these chicken nuggets have, 13. So for five pieces of chicken nuggets, 13 grams of protein. Now you have uh, total carbohydrates, which is 19. So a lot of you might be thinking, oh, that's a lot of carbohydrates, but check it out though. The dietary fiber is two grams. So this is what I want you to do. When you're checking out nutritional labels in the store, when you see a total carbohydrate count, I want you to look below that and look for dietary fiber. Take that dietary fiber number, subtract it from the total carbohydrate number, and that's your net carbs. That's the number that you really wanna pay attention to because that's how many carbs that you're actually intaking in your body. And you know what? If you appreciated that little tip that I just gave you, Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and punch that like button. I'd appreciate that. And I guess the other information that a lot of you would want to know is how many calories? 240 calories for five pieces. Now, I'm definitely going to throw these into the air fryer, but they do give you other, other ways to prepare them. So you could throw them in a the conventional oven. They also have microwave there too, but I wouldn't throw them in a the microwave. I think they'd probably taste a little bit rubbery. That's not what, <laughs> we're not going for that at all. So let's go ahead and do that. But also just to let you know, this is something that you can make really, really quickly. Uh, it says, uh, at least for the air fryer, it takes like seven to eight minutes. So, I mean, a nice little plant-based snack on the go, so simple, but you know what? What's most important? Ty, what do they taste like? So I'm about to tell you right now. All right, so I don't know if you can see as clearly as I can see, but these chicken nuggets, Impossible Chicken Nuggets specifically, look, <laughs> they look just like regular chicken nuggets. All right, let's pick up one. Man, this is, uh, this is pretty incredible. I, I Just from the visual appearance, there's no way in the world that I can tell that these are made of plants, like no way at all. You know, Impossible is definitely known for their products tasting just like the animal equivalent. So I'm really curious about how these taste, so let's give it a try. Whoa, crunchy. <laughs> so keep in mind, I didn't dip these nuggets in any type of dipping sauce. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, I guess I can't even remember what regular chicken tastes like because to me, this tastes just like the chicken nuggets I've had all my life before I became vegan, of course. I mean, the crunchiness, I mean, these are really, really perfect here. You know what? This is so good. I have to have another one. Check out the inside. I mean, looks just like chicken. You know what I did notice though? It's very moist. So you know if you overcook chicken, how dry it gets? Well, these in the air fryer, I mean, it's so moist. And what I could, could I guess, attribute the moistness to is the metacellulose that they, that they use. Now, remember, I told you in some of these ingredients, people are like, oh, all these chemicals, all these chemicals. But the metacellulose, it's, it's made of cellulose, which is the, um, the cell wall of a plant. But it also is used in foods like this to keep the moisture within the food. And man, they did a great job. So impossible. You did it again with the burgers. Tastes just like burgers. These Impossible Nuggets, they taste just like chicken nuggets. Hey, you know what? I'm hungry. I hope you appreciate this video. 
You don't have to be vegan to eat this. As a matter of fact, if you're not vegan or if you want to play like a, not a trick on someone, but if you want to just surprise people, serve these Impossible Chicken Nuggets at your next little family get together. Trust me, they will not know a difference. Add some dipping sauce, forget about it, it's over. And it's much healthier than regular chicken nuggets as well. All right, there you go. You know what? I'll make you another video in the future, but until then, I need to eat these. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. See you soon.